Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and as well Leo Rising, a weekly tarot reading uh, October 7th to October 13th, 2019 and just bear with me a, a couple of seconds guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Right. So the first card which stands for the uh, Leo topic of the week is going to be uh, the page of wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that Leo needs to face throughout the week that is going to be uh, the tower card. Afterwards we do have uh, another powerful card which is uh, referring to the positive aspect of the, of the week for you Leo that is going to be the devil card. And the last one, which stands for the uh, guidance that Taro is offering to you guys, we do have the Knight of Cups. All right, so before we go to the reading, let's run the cards one more time. Uh, the first one here is going to be the Page of Wands, which represents the general topic of your week, followed by the uh, Tower card, which represents the challenges you need to overcome. Afterwards, we do have the Devil card, which stands for the... Um, positive aspect of the week or what you can really take advantage of here and the last one uh, it's about the um, knights of cups or it is a knight of cups and it is about the guidance that tower is offering all right splendid so um page of wands is going to be catalyzed here by uh the knight of swords for what it seems so we do have in an active friends all right so we are going to talk about a person here and it's quite an enthusiastic one all right and it is very quick jumping into uh into actions especially with uh, the uh, catalyst of the knight of swords now it's important thing to acknowledge that this person likes to bring a good news all right they just want to see how the other radiates with with, with joy and, and and with um as well enthusiasm and glee was the word that i was searching for when that when the page delivers them a, a good message so you can take it one way or another that the page is a, a bringer of something new that comes at your uh, at your disposal here additionally to that it is very clever person sharp mind all right uh, it's it's kind of like guided uh, through uh, it's it guide itself or he or she guide itself um, based on the conclusions that it reached in it reaches in regards to a current uh, current situations and the best thing is here is that it is very well capable to tame its emotions meaning that there won't be any points of conflict in between you and that person but it's also important to be acknowledged that the page although it may seem like a, a very chilling and you know, 
not chilling, but the word is laid back, all right? Or kind of like the expression is laid back. It seems kind of a laid back person, detached, and it's kind of like it's not concerned by anything. Actually, it gives a damn, all right? And in this particular case, it's going to give a damn about you. Because as we said, the page is about everything new, and therefore the page is going to bring you something new and with the, with the Knight of Swords here as well it's going to support it with certain arguments. Now I cannot say that this is going to be however a cooperation because one of the properties that the page does have and it will try to incorporate with you it is about the strength of the lonely wolf right or in other words it's going to bring you a confidence that you are strong enough on your own. Now, however, the next one is going to be the tower. And as with everything, oh my God, look at that. And we do have the catalyst of the justice. Another active uh, friends, very, very strong active friends, actually. I would say that here, uh, everything is going to immerse on the surface. That page, whatever news that page is going to bring you, all right, or whatever circumstances that page is going to bring you, it's going to be a storm, guys. I mean, this this thing here with these two cards, it's about an impending radical change that it is accompanied with very unpleasant symptoms, all right, or circumstances which are going to be in regards of a, a truth or of a uh, some sort of a uh, uh, imbalancing justice, all right, or a lack of balance. And uh, at the start, it's going to shatter your world in a sense of that you are to feel very weak, all right, exposed was the word that I was searching for. It's kind of like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do now, all right? And you don't have to, and you should not forget that as with the news bringer, the page is also the um, the confidence bringer. I don't know how to how, how to say that, but it's not only just going to give you the news that is going to shatter your understanding. It's not only an understanding, but also it's going to shatter your perspective, right? But also it's going to give you the the recipe here and as well the plan how to rebuild your life if that regards to the entirety of your life because even though challenging to accept that news because this is going to be the challenge here to accept the news for what the news is to believe in it so even though it's going to be challenging at the end once accepted and following the steps that the page guides you guides you through there will be a nurturing and a rejuvenating effect at the end. Justice is going to be served. There will be balanced. You are now going to find yourself in a very accountable position where you are going to be able to discern. Uh, you, you're going to have that acute discernment now for how the thing stands, either into your career or either into your marriage, all right? And ultimately, at the end, it seems that uh, whatever shatters here, which is, by the way, a very good topic because Pluto goes direct today, or I, I don't know exactly when, but I know that it's around this time. And it's, it's what about Pluto is, all right? It's when, when goes reverse or rather like retro, it kind of shatters your world. But after that, it gives you the power to rebuild. So that's that's what happens here, right? It shatters your world, that page, and gives you the power to rebuild it the way you want to rebuild it, which is the topic of the next card, guys, and that is the positive aspect. And look at this beauty here. We do have the devil, and it is accompanied or catalyzed by the six of pentacles. And power it is, right? So... um I just for uh, the sentence is kind of like a um, it jumped off to my mind and it's it's really a long one so long story short here um, with the page recipe or rather like following the pages example that you are strong enough on your own you're gonna quickly start realizing <clears throat> that you don't need a miracle you are the miracle right you do hold the means the again the power the to, to, to form the circumstances you require, to form the means you require, to, to, to form the situations you require in order to build up your world the way you like it, because this is what that combo is. 
to use the newly given power to yourself to put the river back to the current or to put yourself in the in the middle of the current these two cards here are pointing that should you use that power wisely there will be a growth into your career uh, as well a kind of like balance into your relationship as well and in general you're gonna feel or not even feel but you are to realize that this this tantrum had to happen all right this this shake off had to happen so you can you can wake up you can sober yourself and and see what really needs to be done here see it's not even really what needs to be done it's more like how much you do have to do and how much you have on your disposal to do with right so that is the positive aspect here uh, that is going to the page is going to make you understand that actually you do matter you don't need once again a miracle you are the miracle right you do hold the key to your if you wish survival freedom you know or the key to 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 your success as well the key to your love life the key to your career you just need to do something about it you just need to put everything that you are um that you do have at your disposal into it with good intentions because the devil can serve very destructive purpose when it is with bad intentions all right or with destructive intentions so if you do use that power with constructive intentions then you are going to reconstruct we rebuild your life rebuild your marriage life you know rebuild your relationship rebuild your career if you will exactly the way you want should you have a destructive intentions you're going to destroy your career maybe destroy someone else's career all right or someone else's marriage or someone else's relationship but you are going to have what you want, what you desire, right? And the last one here is going to be the Knights of Cups. And this is why I said splendid with the guidance, because the Knights of Cups, it's a very, <laughs> man, they, I, this, this thing doesn't stop really. The, 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 pay, the Ace of Pentacles, we have another a, uh, passive friends here. And uh, it's just the, a testament that uh, how, uh, as much as you put efforts in, look, these two cards points that there is nothing that the fate decides for you. I mean, you are holding your fate. You are now the blacksmith that is up to forge and quench itself's future or your future. So you are to forge your future. These two cards here are pointing that should you work hard and should you not leave the, the, the situation to resolve by a chance, then you are going to have that opportunity you require to further your goal and to spend the rest of the of the month, the year, or maybe the rest of your life in content and, and happiness, all right? Because should you work for it, you can have success business-wise, you can have a harmony into your relationships or harmonious flow in there, all right? And in general, these two cards points that should you work for a wealth, whatever the wealth is about, all right? Because rich people find wealth in health, you know, a, um, a, a, a single people find wealth in relationship, a poor people find wealth in money, all right? Sick people find wealth in, a, in health. So depends on what wealth is for you, you're gonna find it, but you gotta work for it because nothing is gonna be given to you on a platter. You have to win it. It's not even win it, but you gotta take it. And luckily for you, this page, this person, the page of wands, is going to give you the power to do so. So good luck, Leo. It seems that you are the one who is going to dictate the rules this week. And I hope you do it right for your, for your own sake and for the sake of the rest around you. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.